Here's an attack for the back that doesn't necessarily require putting in both hooks. What I want to do is start with the seat belt. Okay, I want to stay nice and chest to back. My far leg is going to come in in between my opponent's feet. So I'm positioning it right here. Okay, I then want to kind of sag down on this side, dragging my opponent's leg with my own. Okay, as soon as I'm down, I want to arch back and wrap this leg around. So I'm lacing my legs through, triangling them nice and tight around his leg. Okay, here I have good control. Remember to stay chest to back. I now have three options for attack that I like. Okay, the first one, the simplest one, is just a neck crank. Okay, I want to line up my forearm with his jaw. Palm to palm grip. Arch my hips forward and twist. Okay, creating a spiral torsion of his spine. Okay, number two is a famous submission right now. A lot of people like to use it in competition called the twister. Okay, again, I maintain this grip. My uh, underhook arm is gonna come, lift up this arm with the elbow, and notice I duck my head under. Almost like a wrestling move. Come through, create pressure with my neck. Palm to palm grip, and again, hips forward, crank. Spiral torsion on the spine. This one is quite painful. The third one is more of an ambush submission. Okay, I wanna loosen up my legs and arms. I wanna let him think that he's escaping. Yeah, as soon as he starts to roll out, you see how I just captured his arm and his shoulder with my chin. Okay, the next part, I need to use my grip and roll it around his neck. Okay, I can't do the choke from here. Notice how I'm gonna scissor my legs, come on top in my hands, kind of roll through, and I drag him back. Going head to head right here, putting my forehead very low, and cranking for the arm triangle.